Justin Robert Young. And over there will eventually be rocket to space. Live right here in Canaveral, Florida. Uh, right now, Falcon 9 is going to launch. It's very, very interesting to see what the coverage is going to be. Locally, uh, the local paper had it as the number one story. Their A1 story the photo off of Elon Musk uh, talking to local, local bars. And by the way, this is a movie. It looks like this is the Twilight launch. out. Uh, yeah. It's only because my LTE, I forgot to charge it, and we'll go over to my car and plug it in. So I think it's three or four minutes to come back. Yeah. Just so you know. Alright. So we didn't plan this. Very well. <laughs> Not very well planned. We did. There's a reason we're here watching from here and <laughs> not over there trying to make this thing go By off. By the way, we've gone from we're doing this to we're not doing this three times. Yes. We already recorded our concession video. <laughs> Last time we were watching this for the countdown, and we hear them, you know, 12, 11, and then it takes off. We realize, oh yeah, this is not real time. Yes, no, we are closer to it than the stream is. We can't hear the stream yeah. because of the sound. Keep it down! <laughs> so now you can start to see on the horizon some of the can't hear you. I mean, like, there's really not a lot I can do on that one, guys. <laughs> like. <laughs> Put a windbreaker in the microphone. Yeah, sure. I mean, listen. I'll run over to the production truck. <laughs> and I gotta make sure that our union groups are here because they get a five minute coffee break. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's gonna be, you're gonna get the live experience. I 
sitting up here, so it doesn't really make a difference. You're on a boat. Go ahead and walk you around here. You got all these people excited about space. Florida Power and Light Plan. So basically what we're on is uh, a docking area. This is where people would roll their boat right down there to the, to the water. Um, here's Andrew Main. You're explaining them where, uh, how a boat dock works? I'm just showing them where we're watching it. I'm just giving them a sense right of place, you know? So what makes this launch special is that it's actually going to go to a geostationary orbit which is 22,000 miles up. This is the furthest that they've ever sent a SpaceX rocket. Normally go maybe 220 miles. So this is huge. It's a much larger rocket, about 45, 50% larger than the previous rockets they've sent up for power. It's much taller. It's going to be a, a bigger plume than we've seen before. Last time we saw one was a nighttime launch. This is getting dusky pretty soon. be interesting with the cloud coverage, but it could be pretty cool. Very cool. They're not going to try to do a relight like they did before because it's such a different sort of launch trajectory. Actually, they do do like a relight for the higher orbit, so it's different. And this one seems to have a larger window, right? Didn't the, the last, last time we were here, it had a 50-minute yeah. window, right? Yeah, because when you're trying to catch up with the International Space Station, you try to you have to match orbit, so you have a very, very short span. Where here, you've had about an hour or hour span because you're actually going into such a high orbit. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, all right, see, this is why we work well together. You, you take the high road, I take the low road of explaining that we're on a dock. There's water. <laughs> There's water here, you know. We saw two dogs. <laughs> it licked my hand. <laughs> I think I have a friend now. I'll tell you, I'm sure this is coming out like as completely unintelligible, but I'm having a really good time live streaming this. And I hope the 46 of you that are here uh, continue to enjoy it. I also hope that my battery will delicately caressing the microphone now, does that help? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be any better, guys. And to be honest with you, I don't know whether or not it ever will be. Uh, if what you are hearing is wind, it is because things are very, very, very windy. Right now. Sorry, Justin, I couldn't hear you over the wind. <laughs> for is that bright light on the horizon there, right uh, immediately on the screen to your right of the flashing red light. That is where things are going to be. So basically, just to give you perspective from where those flashing lights are there, those are all launch pads to where we are going to be here, which is where the Falcon 9 will launch. All right. 
Again, I'd like to thank Ustream for keeping support for their mobile <laughs> broadcasting uh, as we were kind of up against it. We didn't know whether or not we were going to do this uh, until, uh, you know, seconds. Hey, look at that. <laughs> it's a little uh, underlighting for Andrew Bain. Uh, tell the light guy to bring it over there. Okay? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's good. I don't know how good this is broadcasting, but this looks awesome. Like from my perspective, this looks like a like I I, I can understand why people would expect us to have better quality. Uh oh, clock stops at the live stream. They do. Uh, okay, guys, I'll tell you what. Let me ask you this. Would you prefer if I just muted the microphone? And then maybe bring it back up when we go to the launch? Up to y'all. I wonder the other side, is the direction of the wind? I don't know. Cookie says, where's the HD? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don DeGossi makes a good point. If the audio bothers you so bad, you can always mute your computer. Or mute the stream. Uh, so we're going to keep yammering through the wind. And, uh... We can't solve all the problems, guys. No. We can't solve all We them. cannot. No. No. Here, hold on. So there we go. We are best. Doing the best for you. For you, the Weird Things viewer. We are going to show you. And our friend TV. here. Yes, hold on. <laughs> Let's go interview some, some other folks here. <laughs> Shine the light. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to talk? We have, we have 61 people watching on the internet. Would you like to say hello to them? No. Okay. No. She would not like to say hello. No, okay. Well, we're all, we're all, that's why we're here. We're all here to watch it together from all over the world. There we go. Uh, you know, it's, it's a real cool community of everybody that's come down here to, to watch it. I'm really kind of heartened. Oh, oh, oh good God. I feel like my memory's going to be erased like Men in Black. Oh, there it went. Yeah. Whoops. Exactly. Yeah. When I first saw the SpaceX launch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Merp. And boom, there it went, guys. Yes, no, we are aware. Right now they are holding the clock. It still is at... Sequencer call the halt. We're getting word now. The sequencer called a halt. Spacecraft is in good shape. So, yeah. Is this the live stream before the hold? They're doing a hold and waiting to put them on. Yeah, it is a delay right now, guys. However, uh, you know, this is. low area over there, though. That's what I'm thinking. You know, they picked up the gold. Yeah, I'm watching both of these places. Yeah, I don't know where it was last time. 
I actually think it was over there. We were on that bench over yeah. there. Uh, so this is not like the last time where we um, where they only had 15 minutes. This is going to be something that they have a little bit longer. So right now they've held it at six. 11 on the oh, clock. there it is, right there. Look at it, right here. Look at it. Oh, is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd rather watch it from here. <laughs> <laughs> what is up? <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, that should be right over there. So that's the... Uh... That is so cool. Yeah. It's Andrew demoing the iPad. Here, look at it. Look the look live look stream. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, the SpaceX, they, they do great with their live stream. That yeah, way we get the both experiences. Yeah. So this is delayed, so last time I was watching this and they were doing the countdown, and they, they heard it take off. I'm like, oh. Well, when you, when you see the things break away from that, well, yeah. you know it's ready to go off. Oh, no, we, no, we'll hear it before we'll, we we'll see hear it. it. We'll see it take off here before we'll see it there, because this is, this is about a 20 second delay. So thank you to everybody who's joining us. This is... Uh, a Weird Things special report. Here we go. Justin, Andrew. Here, I'll get the light off. Here we go. Justin and Andrew, if uh, for some reason you're watching this and you are not a Weird Things podcast listener, go ahead to iTunes or every download podcast and download the Weird Things podcast. You can find it at weirdthings.com. We talk about this and many, many other things. And SpaceX is a particular passion of ours. Uh, and While you're online, go to Facebook.com. Don't trust Andrew Mayne. Oh, there's coming that. this January in A&E. He's, uh, yes, of course. Coming to A&E this January. But before don't then... Don't trust Andrew Mayne. Before then... Yes. This, want something to read this, this Christmas? Friday, Black Friday, uh, Go Home Santa, You're Drunk, my short story collection of oddball Santa stories. Where would I find out more about Go Home Santa, You're Drunk? That is bit.ly slash go home Santa. That's where you can get on the mailing list. But let's get back to space. Yes. Yeah. Are you guys on a new broadcast or something? Um, so we do, a, he does a few different podcasts, broadcast stuff. Yeah. Um, I do a few, and then I have a show coming on A&E in January. So don't trust me. Making friends here, folks. <laughs> I'm totally trusting you. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. It's fun to watch it. I never thought about something like that. Yeah, get the updates here and then we can see what's going on. All right, well, we are still waiting. They have uh, held the clock. And the report was that uh, it was an automatic stop. Uh, There's like sometimes they get a, they're about to do the pull the gantry away and they got a, a hold. So. Turns out this is hard. It is indeed rocket science. more and more defined as it gets darker and darker, but, but we are focusing on that ominously glowing portion of the horizon, which will hopefully, so we're gonna see it on the in the next 15 minutes, no, we'll see it out here. Yeah. Rock it. Yeah. It's not a time Well, I'm watching this, so how are you see it? When it gets stopped 30 seconds or so, we'll pay attention to it over there. Is that where they're launching from over here? Should be, the, I think, the white glow over there, because they, they use the southern, the southern pads. Oh, okay. Yeah. Again, for anybody who's just tuning in, the reason why this is important is this is the first time in Florida uh, and the first time that they will be using it to launch, that SpaceX will be using any rocket to uh, put a satellite into orbit. This is also geostationary, geostationary orbit, and this is uh, the Falcon 9. They test launched it in California a few months ago. Version 2. Version 2. They test launched version 2. They test launched version 2. They've launched about the 9th screen before. Okay.
Getting reports that the clock went back up to 13 minutes. Yeah, so they, uh, they're starting the 10-10 clock again at 13, so... 13 minutes? Yep. We are getting from Al Wart Wister in the chat. Issue with stage one transfer internal. So an issue with the tower on hooking from the rocket held it at 611. Oh, that. And now it is restarted at 13. Of course, the problem with that, if it doesn't hook, is it will literally bring Florida into space. So again, now thank, thank you, uh, or we thank you for giving us the info. Hold will be at 13 minutes to restart terminal countdown if they successfully troubleshoot the issue. So right now, folks across the bay are working very, very hard. Across uh, the bay here to get things working. Should they be able to do it, they uh, we will see ourselves a launch. Trust us, there's a rocket out there. We are nearly positive that it's a, <laughs> it's indeed a rocket and it will launch. Yes, no, we are aware. Right now they are holding the clock. It still is at... Now the sequence are called a halt. The spacecraft is in good shape. So yeah. It is a delay right now, guys. However, uh, you know, this is low area over there. Though. That's what I'm thinking. But, you know, they picked up the gold. They are watching both these places. Yeah, I don't know where it was last time. I actually think it was over there because we were on that bench over there. Yeah. Uh, so, this is not like the last time where we, um, where they only had 15 minutes. This is going to be something that they have a little bit longer. So, right now, they've held it. At six eleven on the oh, clock. There it is, right there. Look at it, right here. Look at it. Oh, is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd rather watch it from here. <laughs> <laughs> what is up? <laughs> the, uh, so yeah, that should be right over there. So that's the. Uh... That is so cool. Yeah. It's Andrew demoing the iPad. Here, look at it. Look at the look live look stream. It. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, the SpaceX, they, they did great with their live stream. That way we get both experiences. 
Yeah. Well, this is delayed. So last time I was watching this and they were doing the countdown, and I, and I heard it take off. I'm like, oh. Well, when you, when you see the things break away from that, well, yeah. you know it's ready to go off. Oh, no, we'll, no, we'll hear it before we'll, we we'll see hear, it. We'll see it take off here before we'll see it there, because this is, this is about a 20 second delay. Mm. So thank you to everybody who's joining us. This is uh, a Weird Things special report. Here we go. Justin, Andrew. Yeah, I'll get the light up. Here we go. Justin and Andrew. If uh, for some reason you're watching this and you are not a Weird Things podcast listener, go ahead to iTunes or every download podcast and download the Weird Things podcast. You can find it at weirdthings.com. We talk about this and many, many other things. And SpaceX is a particular passion of ours. Uh, and While you're we, online, go to Facebook.com. Don't trust Andrew Maine. Oh, there's coming that. this January in A&E. Uh, yes, of course. Coming to A&E this January. But before don't trust then, Andrew Maine. Before then, yes, this, want something to read this, this Christmas? This Friday, Black Friday, uh, Go Home Santa, You're Drunk, my short story collection of oddball Santa stories. Where would I find out more about Go Home Santa, You're Drunk? That is bit.ly slash go home Santa. That's where you can get on the mailing list. But let's get back to space. Yes. What do you guys do? A news broadcast stuff? Um, so, we do, uh, he does a few different podcasts, broadcast stuff. Yeah? Um, I do a few, and then I have a show coming on A&E in January. So, don't trust me. Making friends here, folks. <laughs> I'm totally trusting you. Fun to watch it here. I never thought about something like that. Yeah, get the updates here and then we can see what's going on. Alright, well, we are still waiting. They have uh, held the clock. And the report was that uh, it was an automatic stop. Uh, there was like sometimes they get a, they're about to do the pull the gantry away and they got a, a hold. So. Turns out this is hard. It is indeed rocket science. more and more defined as it gets darker and darker, but, but we are focusing on that ominously glowing portion of the horizon, which will hopefully, so we're gonna see it on in the, the next 15 see minutes, no, we'll see it out here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a time machine. Well, I'm watching this, so holler if you see it. When it gets stopped 30 seconds or so, we'll pay attention to it over there. Is that where they're launching from over here? Should be, the, I think, the white glow over there, because they, they use the southern, the southern pads. Oh, okay. Yeah. Again, for anybody who's just tuning in, the reason why this is important is this is the first time in Florida uh, and the first time that they will be using it to launch, that SpaceX will be using any rocket to uh, put a satellite into orbit. This is also geostationary, geostationary orbit, and this is uh, the Falcon 9. They test launched it in California a few months ago. Version 2. Version 2. They have test launched version 2. Test launched version 2? No, it's just like they've had launched off the night before. Oh, okay. reports that the clock went back up to 13 minutes. Yeah, so they, uh, they're starting the countdown clock again at 13, so... 13 minutes? Yep. We are getting from Al Ward Wister in the chat. Issue with stage one transfer internal. So an issue with the tower on hooking from the rocket held it at 6.11. Oh, that... Now it is restarted at 13. Of course, the problem with that, if it doesn't unhook, is it will literally bring Florida to space. Yeah. 
So again, Al, thank, thank, uh, thank you for giving us the How info. Hold will be at 13 minutes to restart terminal countdown if they successfully troubleshoot the issue. So right now, folks across the bay are working very, very hard. Across uh, the bay here to get things working, should they be able to do it, they, uh, we will see ourselves a launch. Trust us, there's a rocket out there. We are nearly positive that it's a, <laughs> it's indeed a rocket and it will launch. Guys, if that blinked out, I'm at 20% power. One of these launches last year would be great. Yeah. Um, do you want to go over to the car and we can use the power supply there? Sure. We were running out of power. Go back to the car and get plugged in. We actually might have just a good shot right here. Yeah. And boom. All right, so we are now plugged in. Now you're just watching. Welcome to the Mobile Command Center. <laughs> uh, so here's the problem, guys. Uh, it's not necessarily that it's like running out of juice. I mean, it was running out of juice. It's just that uh, any like pop-up that comes from the phone knocks my broadcast off. So I will do my best to per minimize those, and hopefully nothing will happen. But I am now plugged in, so we are good to go. As soon as we see some encouraging news there... This is our live shot from... Okay, it's on my iPad. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now let's go down to the launch pad. <laughs> uh, as soon as we see some encouraging news in the live stream, uh, we can go and uh, and then just hop out of the car real quick and, and take a good look at where it's going to be so we can get some good images. But for right now, we're going to charge up and save our powder for when it counts so we don't miss the money show. Well, we can stay here with you live right now. We Yeah, no, we will. We will. We're, we're not will. going anywhere. No, we'll have some good chit-chat for yeah. everybody. Let me grab some gum over here, but other than that. Um, no, uh, Soundwave, uh, it's not necessarily any notifications, because like, I just got notifications on Twitter while this is happening. It's notifications from the phone, as in like you have 20% power left, or when I plugged in this, it was like, this is not Apple certified, blur, blur, blur. Um, and Al Worcester 
very astutely pointing out that the launch window is until 6.43, meaning that if they wanted to cycle down from the countdown to 13 minutes, we'd have to start at 6.30. That's math, son. Whoa, whoa. Back up. Uh, and here we go. We have uh, da, da Fat Mac watching from Brisbane, Australia. Thank you for tuning in. For everybody else, yeah, I'll tell you what, as soon as... Uh, as soon as we have word that this thing is going down, make sure you, you hoot and you holler out there on the internets and let everybody know they'll be able to see it live right here. <laughs> hey, Extra Life, Scott Johnson's here. Welcome, Scott. Uh, what time are we at? 6.09. 6.09. Uh, Soundwave says, what's the distance between us and the launch pad? What did we figure that out last time? Where? It was eight or nine miles yeah. or something. I, can, I, will, I will give you a more precise okay. answer in we just are, a moment. We are estimating it at about eight or nine miles across the bay. So, I don't know if I speak rocket science, but that sounded like the problem as there's been progress made on the problem. Uh, this, again, is the SpaceX live stream. It will show you awesome versions of what is about to happen. And if you would like the reaction of these two mooks... Let's flip around that camera. There we go. Me, Justin Robert Young, that man, Andrew Main, he of A&E's brand new series, Don't Trust Andrew Main, premiering in January. Facebook.com slash Don't Trust Andrew Main, Andrew Main for all the new details. Please go there, click like, keep updated on it. Here we go. Listen, he came all the way out to Florida to show you the SpaceX launch. Why don't you go on over to his Facebook page and like it up? Uh, all right, let's flip this back around so we can get looking at the live stream again. And thank you to everybody all over the world for, for tuning in. This is really rad. I mean, again, the, I think the reason why me and Andrew love this so much is just the idea of, of what this means for space travel, which, you know, today, I believe it was Reuters, uh, their headline for this was uh, Cut Rate SpaceX. Uh, which I thought was kind of a like a shoe store. Yeah, a bit a bit weird of a headline, but there is no denying that the the significance of this, if it goes well, is that now satellites can be put into space for a fraction of what they were put into uh, until this works, really, uh, and that is the first step on the road to we all get to space far cheaper and on a. This is the LC on the countdown net. Moving into section 10.60 of the procedure, OSM verified flight hazard area roadblocks are established. They are still established. Mission manager, confirm spacecraft on internal power and go for launch. Confirm internal power and go for launch. I'm hearing words like go for launch. There we go. Attention all personnel on countdown one. This is the launch director. We are nearing completion of our recycle activities and prepping for a new terminal count run. We're in coordination for a new T zero of twenty three three zero 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 UTC six thirty PM local. We will pick up the count as soon as that T zero is coordinated. 
<coughs> LC, you're cleared to proceed, picking up the count. Put that T zero. Copy. You want me to start the clock? Start the clock. Copy. All right. Okay, this is the LC on the countdown now. The T clock has been started. T minus 18 minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Standing by at T minus 13 minutes. So here we go, ladies and germs. We are now 18.13, uh, by the way, of that clock, which means that we are probably closer to that here. Uh, which, of course, means we have time to answer. Well, you can see on oh, the here we go. the clock is counting again at T-minus 17 minutes and 55 seconds. And a cheer went up here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Currently, the SpaceX crew out of Cape Canaveral is coordinating for a new T-Zero time at 30 minutes after the hour. So that's just as you see on the clock, on the webcast, just a little bit more than 17 and a half minutes from now. We're currently making modifications to ground sequences to make sure that as we go through the terminal count inside of T-minus 10 minutes, that we safely pass through the point where we stop at T-minus 6 minutes and 11 seconds. As I mentioned earlier, we're working on changing limits on a power supply. The rocket is safe. The spacecraft is safe. They're both being recycled. Actually, in the spacecraft's case, they're staying on internal, and they're ready to go forward with the countdown. The launch vehicle team is getting themselves reset at T-minus 13 minutes. We'll do the poll again. We'll bring that to you as it happens, and then proceed down from T-minus 10 minutes to zero, and hopefully a liftoff on this try. So right now, T minus 16 minutes, 52 he seconds. He has a normal size we'll neck. With you in just a few minutes. Which, by the way, again, I don't know. And listen, there is a very, very credible argument to be made that we are indeed SpaceX fanboys, and and I don't run from that. Uh, but it is really rad the transparency there, you know, to be able to talk about exactly what happened and stuff like that. All right. Um, so let's do questions. Throw some questions here. Well, here's one question. Uh, Scott Johnson asks if there's a chance we get a Justin Robert Young cameo on Don't Trust Andrew Main. Uh, not not with the uh, not, not not with the first season. Who knows going forward? But uh, the real the real meat is Andrew Main. Andrew Main on that show. It's hilarious. Um, as to a Justin Robert Young cameo. I would say that he is a master of disguise. It's entirely possible he could pop up and you wouldn't recognize it. You might be looking at like a really gorgeous redheaded girl. Yeah. And it's actually Justin in disguise. Exactly. It could happen. It was going to happen, and then uh, FXX made claims that Charlie Day was on their show, and uh, they they launched legal action. We're still working through it. Yeah. Um. Okay, so people are saying that we are two minutes behind on that clock. Yeah, it could be. Let me. I'm going to restart the stream. Just don't want to cross them. So we're going to restart our stream, which if we're two minutes behind there, then that means that we are probably close to three minutes <laughs> so. ahead here. See if Hell Valley operates on the second timeline. Then if we go back, Biff won't be married. Favorite comment so far, the sweet woman who came up to me and talked to me said she looked out at the iPad, was blown away by the idea that we could, you know, you could watch video here and watch the, the launch thing. And she says to me, uh, she's looking at my iPad, she sees, she sees she, we're talking a little bit, she didn't want to go on camera, and then she sees the iPad with the rocket, and she goes, whoo, she jumps in to go look at that, she's amazed by it, right? And she's looking at that, and I say, yeah, we can watch it, she goes, this is better than being in there live. Yeah. Okay, and then she says, Sh where will I see it take off first? Here or out there? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, let's think about that. That's yeah. real right now. This is delayed. But uh, <laughs> so it's it just not a time machine lady. No. So she's a sweetheart. But that was like, where will I see it take off first? We'll see what it looks like here first, and then I'll decide to let it go. Uh, all right, people are asking for us to show the clock. As we see it on the live stream, uh, our live stream clock is at 13:47, and we're probably could be 30 seconds or 40 seconds behind too here. So yeah, there's two delays going on there. So I think what we're probably going to do is around 
Uh, yeah, when it gets to be like three or four minutes down, we'll go outside there because we'll know. Yeah, around yeah around five minutes we should probably hop out. Minus thirteen and a half minutes to lift off. We're waiting right now to hear the SpaceX launch conductor conduct the terminal countdown readiness call of the fourteen individuals Take off the six thirty. To make sure that we are good and ready to go into the terminal count sequence. That's where the ground and the flight computer on the vehicle control the last ten minutes. So with that, let's listen to SpaceX launch conductor pull his team. Launch conductor. I hope he has a fun hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> launch conductor all going on the space train. For launch, all stations acknowledge FTS. So what's kind of cool here is the fact that this rocket, as we mentioned before, is like 40 to 50 percent more powerful than the last time they launched a rocket. But it's built on the same sort of chassis, same design, same overall. They've improved the engines and the Merlin engines. But the idea that they're able to take that existing design and improve it without having to, like, design an entirely new system and everything else. Musk says this is our most ambitious launch yet. Again, going 22,000 miles to U.S. stationary orbit because they got to put it at 22,000 miles an hour because that's how fast the Earth spins. And, and previous to this, it was foreign governments, right? Like Russia that would put up yeah, satellites? Yeah. yeah. I mean, like at that geostationary orbit. Yeah, that's like, it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. So we may see this tonight. Right now. Right outside our window. We'll be yeah. outside when it happens. And this is one of those things where it's like, you know, each one of these SpaceX launches, I mean, somebody who is just generally interested in something like this, you know, it seems something that's like, well, okay, until you follow two or three of them and you understand at what pace they're going in and you kind of wrap your head around exactly what they're doing here. Uh, again, I mean, number one, they, they have long since gotten into the club where only governments and, you know, massive agencies have and been able James to... James Bond. Village. Yeah, and James Bond have been able to achieve what they have now done on a regular basis. But, you know, considering that this is not only their most ambitious, but also just another uh, another step in, into where they're going. What they have planned beyond this, and they've publicly demonstrated in testing, you know, stuff like, like the grasshopper and everything is... Uh, is, is really amazing. The idea that mm -hmm. they'll be able to land rockets, uh, you know, and reuse them. But, you know, first things first, they got to... Hold is called from this point forward. The terminal count all sequence will be aborted. Indicate an abort or hold condition by saying hold, hold, hold on the primary countdown net. In this event, the VC will immediately abort the idle sequence. The VC shall not abort the idle sequence after T minus 10. A bunch of legalese. Operators shall not call a hold. Space yeah. yeah. lawyers trying to ruin everything. Just click yes on the EULA. Yeah. <laughs> Don't click, read it. Click yes to launch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I've read it. Sure. I'll print it out. I swear. So there's still a uh, T minus for 630 launch. So. We are showing local Three, time here, two, 621. One. Mark. Yeah. BC announced the idle sequence has started. Terminal count has started. I'd say about five, five minutes starting. to go at 625 local time. GCB, we'll hop out in the car and, 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 and post that. So you guys RCB will get a lot of wind. Don't bitch about it. No. Don't bitch about the wind. Oh, All right? Launch, you can't fight the wind, guys. Yes. Right. Don't spit in the wind. Tell you what, man, uh, Statman Extraordinaire, uh, Al Worcester, uh, pointing out that the launch, placing it in geostationary transfer orbit, the height of the orbit is a fourth of the way to the moon. Andrew? Uh, no. No? I don't, it'd be tenth. I mean, the moon's about 230,000 miles away. Geostationary orbit roughly starts at 22,000. So a tenth of the way to the moon? Yeah. It is. We can confirm that it is indeed on some path to the moon. Yes. I may be incorrect on that, but... Uh, bubble, bubble, toil and trouble.
Uh, C. Miller, there is no wind. We're in the car. Man, I am so pumped. Yeah, a uh, GTO orbits 22,000 to 26,000 miles, and Earth to Moon is 238,000, so it'd be 10% of the distance. So. It's still, hey, listen, you're that far, you might as well be there. And from exactly. Here, and from an energy point of view, yeah, it's probably the same, so. Uh, Perry Thompson saying, just put a condom on the mic. Uh, again, it's my phone. I'm going to do my best to condom. Yeah, because we brought condoms, guys. Totally, <laughs> brought condoms. <laughs> Just two guys. Two guys in a car. In, in a park Florida. in Florida. Yeah. Well, who would have con Well, okay. All right. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where are we at? And by the way, you put a condom on the microphone to not get, like, blood or water on it. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> it's totally different. <laughs> or for some horrific act we don't want to know about. Oh, Al Worcester is saying that it goes out that far, the fourth of the way, to change the inclination of the orbit, and that eventually it's a, it will be where Andrew says it will be. T minus seven minutes. Um, let me just say that this is the point in which I'm very glad I don't have the reputation of being the smart person because anybody tells me anything, I can just repeat it and then say I heard it from some dude on the internet. All right. Um, in one minute, we're going to hop out this car like we're undercover cops. We're going to watch his rocket take the hell off. This is the scene, by way, of the SpaceX stream. Yeah, I, again, my understanding the apogee of the orbit would be 23 or 24,000 miles, but... Hey, listen, I have a show called Don't Trust Andrew Main, so... <laughs> Boom! I'm on, I'm not on TV for rocket science, folks. No, he's on TV for hilarity and fun. Where is Tensor Guy when we need him? Internal power confirmed. Internal power confirmed. Oh, that's a nice voice. Uh, yeah, Scott, it got dark here around 5 to 5.20. Uh, and I think we're going to hop on out of here and post up so we can get it. Make sure we get a good spot. Are you there. charged to get that juice? Or? Yeah, I should be fine. If it was at 20% before. Sorry, guys. Oh, upside down. Oh. Hey, here we go. Good news is, everybody, if we are going by the power consumption up till now, uh, hopefully it won't, it'll, it'll hit me with another alert at 5% left. We were not able to charge it, but we will hopefully be able to show you it. On the horizon, there we go, that one right there, that will be the launch site. Oh, hold it, 340. Yeah, if that is a hold at 340, we might be screwed.
Bike computer's not in startup. We are waiting for the latest here, but the count has been held at 340. We're hearing all sorts of stuff about launch computers. So apparently there's a computer involved yes. that does some sort of computation <laughs> to get this thing up. In the launch window here is uh, 6.47 on the outer end. Countdown was at 3.40. Well, I'm hearing reports that the computer may use something called electricity. Yes. Yeah. Unconfirmed reports that the rocket has become self-aware and has begun singing Daisy Daisy. <laughs> Uh, Z Durst in the chat room suggesting that SpaceX uh, reboot before calling for customer service. We are also listening to the live stream here, so uh, in case you are not, if they say anything, we will tell you what they say. This coming right from the horse's mouth. We are kind of 10 miles away from the horse, <laughs> waiting to see whether it does something. Mike Tung uh, recommending that they call Leo Laporte, the tech guy. We are now at 6.31. The initial launch time was supposed to be 6.30. Uh, we have roughly 16 minutes left in today's launch window. at 340 and uh, something about a launch computer but their launch window today is until uh, 47 past the hour so, so 
by then it's scrub for sure. Yeah. That's uh, that's their window in terms of getting it getting it to where it needs to be. So basically you don't come. Another half an hour yet, boys. Just delayed it. Another half an hour. Yeah, I'll see. Another half an hour? I don't know if that's the case. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the window I think is uh The window was, in, as I understood it, until 647. That's what I heard, too. Folks, we are scouring. They're saying it's a strong back raise anomaly. A problem was with the tower. Well, again, I have no idea what that means. Neither do I. Yes. I don't know whether or not that scrubs it for today. I think that really scrubs it if you ask me. Uh, I have no I idea. I hate to leave because I love these night ones. Yeah. And watching it on TV is nothing like being here watching it. Uh, no, uh, the weather is actually not bad. You're a vampire. <laughs> yeah, they're saying they're attracting the tower. That might be a wrap on today. Track. Yeah, on 96.5, I think the radio station, the news station out of Orlando. No, uh, yeah, but I think the, the launch window is still 647, so... But I'm just saying, is they got that right on there. They're reporting it, so they tell you it's on hold there for another couple minutes. They said a half an hour. No, yeah, that was the first delay. Aborted. Aborted? Yeah. That's what Scrub. he said. Yeah, we're getting that on the... Uh, You're getting that too? Aborted? Yeah, these are people who are watching us live here. Yeah. Aborted? Aborted. Thank you very much. That's what everybody's saying. Well, that's what <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Um, Alright, guys. Well... Thank you very, very much hey guys, for hanging thanks with for us. Out here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, camp out tonight for tomorrow's lunch. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to bring us some uh, s'mores. Yeah, we are at the best was when we were here, they actually did a first day's light, and you saw the glow, and then they shut it down. And that yeah. was pretty amazing. They're like, eh, eh. Oh, oh, not going. That's all right. Uh, all right, guys. Well, thank you very, very much again. WeirdThings.com. Uh, Andrew Main. Facebook.com slash Don't Trust Andrew Main. Andrew, or Don't Trust Andrew Main coming to Haney this January. Uh, and bit.ly slash Santa. All of my Santa Claus stories coming to you in audiobook and ebook format this Black Friday. Uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen. What's the what's the thing? What it do you say? It was almost weird. It was almost it was scrubbed. The weirdness was scrubbed. Bye guys.